Welcome to today's episode of the Cover Your Assets podcast. Uh, this is Billy Gwaltney, and I'm happy to be with you as always. Today, we're going to cover another topic that came up during a, a webinar I was on earlier um, this year for the American College of Surgeons, their uh, young physicians or resident and associate uh, physician uh, financial literacy series. Um, I was discussing disability insurance, and one of the questions that came up uh, was discounts. How do discounts work? Are, are they legitimate? Uh, what's the what's all the fuss about discounts? How do you get them? What do they do? Um, and um, you know how do they work? And so I'm going to cover that today and hopefully provide uh, at least some information that will uh, steer you in the right direction. Of course, I'm happy to discuss in more detail. This is a general overview and obviously subject to change. Um, but there are there are trainee discounts, and then there are some attending discounts. Um, the the most uh, popular tra- uh, discounts that that people are are really trying to get are trainee discounts, uh, and those are reserved for residents and fellows and new attendings. And by new attending, they need to be within ninety to one hundred and eighty days of graduation. So if you purchase your policy either as a resident or as a fellow or as a new attending within the first three to six months after graduation, you would be eligible for these trainee discounts. Uh, And what's important about having a trainee discount is that once you get the trainee discount, you keep that forever. It is, it is a significant discount. Usually Uh, the largest discounts reserved for any occupation class are for physicians. These train the resident and fellow discounts Uh, they're anywhere on the low end, it would be 10%. On the high end, it could be 30%. Or uh, there's there are ways to get 40 or 45% discounts if you structure it correctly. And so, um, of course, those can change. But once you lock in that discount, if you get a 30% discount, you're going to keep that 30% discount forever, even if the next week that company gets rid of that discount. So once you secure it on your policy, you keep it forever. Uh, what's important even further is that if your policy is structured correctly, it would include the future insurability option or the benefit update or benefit increase rider. And so when you go to increase coverage in the future as an attending, that would allow you to increase coverage through your policy based on a formula that companies use to calculate how much coverage you can purchase based on your income. And so as you go to do those increases, you would automatically receive that trainee discount. Again, if your policy is structured properly, I keep saying if, because it's not a given that it would be structured properly. Um, You would want to make sure that it is. And if it is, one of the ways to tell if it is, is that that discount is going to be included on any increase. And it's significant. Um, So uh, if you're an attending, let's say that you're beyond the six month window and and for whatever reason, it's now um, important for you to get your coverage. It just wasn't before for any number of reasons. You're seven, eight, 10 months into being attending. Those discounts are not available to you. Um, and so that 30% would not be there. So you're gonna pay the regular retail rate. Now, companies do offer different discounts for attendings. Um, for one company, there's a 15% discount for attendings that we have access to. Others would depend on the the institution that you're employed by. It would be a discount that that insurance company might have at that employer. Um, So certain top companies offer these through uh, an employer. Some, it is possible to get one through an association. Um, One of the top companies may have one with the AMA, for example. Um, They're usually not the same discount or or as large of a discount as a trainee discount, but that's okay. I mean, that doesn't mean you don't get it. Um, if you're not a trainee, then you're not a trainee. You can't go, you can't go back in time and fix that. Uh, so just take what you can get. And again, once you get it, it would be um, on your policy for life. Um, in the current market, um, your policy should have a discount on it. Okay. There's no reason for it not to, um, you know, I, I routinely, when clients will come to me and want me to, to evaluate a policy they currently have, um, I'm, I'm blown away by the number of times I'll see one with no discount on it. And, and that, that's easy to fix. Um, 
a lot of times the companies that are not in the top tier would not offer discounts. Um, certain discounts through associations. Uh, one association has currently a 35% discount. That is not guaranteed. That can be taken away at any time. Uh, and uh, most association policies are group certificates, which means the association and the insurance company control the policy. They can discontinue it at any time. They can change the rate. Um, they could get rid of the discount. They could change the definitions, which are which are weaker to begin with. And so there, there are a lot of uh, loopholes associated with uh, typically with association policy. So just be careful on that. Uh, but again, if you do your trainee uh, or attending discount correctly, it would be included for life, not only on the initial purchase amount, but also on any increase amounts in the future when you go to add coverage down the road. This is a short and sweet one. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please feel free to text me anytime to arrange a conversation or discuss uh, any questions. My number is 704-270-2376. Again, 704-270-2376. Um, be happy to chat with you. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for your time. Until we meet again, this is Billy Gwaltney.